Um, how did that actually genuinely feel when no longer was your name on the CEO room's door and no longer there was a seat for you? How did that actually really feel? So, so anybody who doesn't feel like a huge sense of loss, it, I just don't get that. I mm. don't. I cried. Oh, did you? I, I, I tidied, that emotional. I tidied my office, I brought my stuff down, I couldn't really say bye-bye to the staff because the new people were there and it was just, I was in the way. I came out, I sat in the car park, I had a shout to you. Wow. I did. You have to have a reason to live. And if you don't, nature finds a way to sort out that little conundrum pretty quickly. Oh. And, and it sounds like those were informed, proactive choices rather than lack of time meant you couldn't. Yeah, it was just it was just the practicalities of where we were. Yeah. And you are focused on as you as you grow, you are focused on different things. It's experience, it's not it's not uh, brains, and I think I said that at the beginning. I got a two two at university and that. So I'm not the brightest, but I've got a lot of experience. I've seen a lot. I know a lot of people and I've seen a lot. And that's what people want. Well, I regularly see people and I say one of two things. I either say, your business is amazing, but I don't like you. I couldn't work with you. Or I say, you're amazing, but I don't like your business. 